So let me get this straight. You want to be the best player in Phantom Forces, and you want to do it the easy way, with a settings guide. Or maybe you just want to know what a high-level Phantom Forces player settings look like. Either way, a lot of you guys want to seem to know just what my settings are in Phantom Forces. Side note, if you actually want a coherent guide to get better, consider checking out my video on just that at the top of my description after this video. But you're here to see my settings, so let's talk about that. So we'll actually go ahead and we'll talk about our mouse settings first. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your mouse settings by pressing the Windows key, typing in mouse. Once you go there, my default setting for my mouse is going to be 8 sensitivity here, but you can also go here to additional mouse options and inside of pointer options you're going to want to make sure that enhanced pointer precision is unchecked this is basically mouse acceleration you don't want that that's bad now the next thing here is going to be your mouse's dpi settings now it's going to vary depending on what mouse you have but for me i currently have a logitech g703 and if you go into your settings specifically for me i use strictly 1100 dpi and i've disabled my dpi shift button so these are the numbers don't matter i just strictly use 1100 dpi so that gives me like a nice amount of being able to go across my screen and like you know precision and stuff now next we're actually going to take it inside of the game now so we did our windows settings now we're going to do roblox settings so if you hit escape and you go to your settings here my actual in-game sensitivity is going to be 0.4 that's just going to be my standard roblox sensitivity combined of course with my windows sensitivity no mouse precision and my mouse's dpi you're also going to want to make sure that you play in full screen mode if your computer can actually handle it because it's going to give you the best response time at least in my personal experience and i also play with max graphics on just so i can see the most distance and i can see the most detail and differentiate the pixels between like you know different enemies and walls and stuff so that's for the Roblox settings here. So if we actually go into our dedicated Phantom Forces settings specifically, to kind of go over the mouse settings first, these are my two different things that I have set for my mouse. I must have set these years ago. I just don't fiddle with this. I'm used to how my sensitivity works as is. So all of my sensitivities combined together comes to create exactly my type of movement that I prefer. Now, under the gameplay settings, I also rock max FOV. A lot of you guys actually ask about my FOV. I run at absolute max, so I can see everything that's around me just that much better. However, I do run an ultra wide monitor, so typically I can see a lot more, or at least it's like more stretched around my peripheral vision, which, you know, some people like it, some people don't. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have toggle invert Y axis off because otherwise you'll be looking like down whenever you move your mouse up. And it's just, this is mouse backwards. Dynamic stance is one that I also typically like to keep disabled pretty much what that does is you can see whenever i crouch my weapon moves and whenever i lay down it moves again however if i go ahead and disable dynamic stance it keeps my weapon in the same exact spot every time that I crouch or lay down. I just feel like it's better to be more consistent whenever it comes to doing your shots and stuff. Also for sprint toggle and toggle double tap sprint, this is just kind of depends on you. I don't typically like toggling sprint in a game like Phantom Forces. Double tap kind of depends on your setup as well. Some people prefer to have it on. Basically that's where whenever you double tap W, you'll immediately start sprinting. So you can see I disabled it. If I double tap W, it doesn't let me sprint. I just have to like press shift like a like some kind of monster. For the controller settings, they're a bit arbitrary. I just kind of go through and just slam whatever on here. However, I would definitely make sure to keep at least controller look acceleration somewhere between like medium and maximum. I prefer to have it maximum, but that's just me. If you go into the display settings here, I personally like to keep ragdolls on. I can understand why some people like it off. It allows you to get a little bit more performance and also you don't have to have deal with people like lying in piles of corpses, which isn't typically much of an issue anymore because of the fact that a lot of people like to do the next setting here, ragdoll fun factor, absolutely maxed. So everybody basically is going to see different ragdolls. I like to keep it up though, because it's silly watching the bodies go flying off in the distance. Bullet holes, Roblox particles and first person bullet casings. Those are all up to you. Those are kind of more performance things. Typically, I like to keep those on. This is also kind of more stuff that I typically keep on. It's just all the basic UI for Phantom Forces. Typically, I keep chat disabled just for recording purposes and stuff because people can be a little bit creepy sometimes. <laughs> so I keep that off. But of course, if you like to interact with people, you can keep the chat on. As far as rendering goes, typically I keep shaders off. I also like to keep off day night cycle and global shadows. Now, of course you can see it does have a bit of an impact on how your game looks. And of course you can see like it is, everything's a lot more like dim and I guess almost lifelike in a way you could say, you know, as lifelike as this is. Um, and it does kind of help to give your Phantom Forces a little bit more depth to it. But the reason that I like to keep it off is because I like to keep my videos nice, bright, and vibrant. And honestly, I feel like whenever I have those two things disabled, I get enough of that as is. My game looks mostly normal. Everything looks fine. So it just kind of helps to keep videos a little bit more presentable. Also, that combined with the fact that the day-night cycle, I prefer to keep it day so I can actually have a better chance of seeing people. And whenever it's nighttime, flashlights and stuff don't really help anyway. So that's that's just me. Now, all this stuff here is also kind of performance stuff. It just depends on what you prefer out of the rest of these. Again, if you have like maybe a lower NP, you see, I would definitely suggest maybe toggling these things off in the first place just to keep you, you know, that little extra couple FPS. 
The only other thing that I would say that I have is I have my FPS unlocked, so that way I can get the absolute most FPS possible. It basically allows it to be a lot more smoother, and of course, because I have a higher refresh rate monitor, it just makes everything feel a lot more smooth, a lot more responsive. I get Roblox's engine. A lot of games will actually break because of your FPS if it's unlocked. However, for Phantom Forces, I feel that it works perfectly adequately, just to my standard. If you guys want a tutorial on actually how to unlock your FPS, let me know in the comment section below, and I could definitely do that for you guys as well. Scaling also depends on what you're trying to get out of it. Typically, this is actually a really good setting if you play on maybe a lower quality laptop or something like that that has a like less resolution because typically what it likes to do if you have smaller resolution the ui gets really big assuming that phantom forces hasn't fixed that because it's been a while since i've used like a little tiny little baby laptop but yeah so typically i can actually if i wanted to i could like scale this stuff up if i wanted this for whatever reason what you can typically do is you can make it smaller and you can just have it less intrusive some people might just like this for the very fact that it's less intrusive and in your way but it's there if you still need it i like to just keep it at one. Now, if we go to the advanced settings, honestly, I don't really know what this stuff is, so I just leave it default, assuming that these are the default settings. But yes, yeah, so those are typically my settings that I'm going to run for Phantom Forces here. Now, of course, these things are going to vary. Of course, if you have maybe like a different brand of mouse, like a Razer mouse, stuff like that, you should be able to also get software with it that allow you to change your DPI and everything. Of course, it just depends on your brand of mouse. But no, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much it. Um, if there's any other settings that you'd like to know, definitely let me know in the comments below, and I can let you know as well in a reply. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I don't all too much else to say but i just figured because a lot of you guys keep asking that i would go ahead and let you know um yeah if you got any other video ideas or things that you want to know just let me know in the comment section below and i will make sure to do videos on those as well uh yeah <laughs> enjoy the rest of your day dudes peace